हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद सम कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू इमेज स्मूथनिंग एंड इमेज शार्पनिंग स्पेशल फिल्टर्स ओके सो अंडर स्पेशल डोमेन दिस इज द लास्ट कैटेगरी व्हिच इज लेफ्ट इन योर सिलेबस दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन इमेज स्मूथनिंग एंड इमेज शार्पनिंग ओके सो इन अंडर इमेज स्मूथनिंग वी हैव सम इंपॉर्टेंट फिल्टर्स सच एज हाई पास लो पास एंड एवरेज फिल्टर्स वेयर सम दीज आर सम ऑफ द order statistics filter which is used for the smoothing of the image whereas for image sharpening we have some kind of filters that is masking filters or all, which are they are also known as laplacian filters which is used for sharpening on the image based on the uh, 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 rise and fall of the intensity levels of the pixels okay so those things we are going to discuss in this video now so stay tuned for that also the previous video we had discussed based on the histogram processing and histogram equalization in the same video i have covered it those who have not watched it please go and watch it it is available in the playlist okay so now let us see what do you mean by smoothing so, this smoothing special filters are used for blurring and noise reduction okay so this is the main function of image smoothing filter that is it is used for blurring the image or reducing the unwanted signals or unwanted noise which is present in the image noise reduction can be carried out by blurring with linear and also by the non linear filters okay so these are some of the filters which are carried out for noise reduction one is linear and non linear the output of smoothing spatial linear filter is average of the pixels contained in the neighborhood of the filter mask okay these filters are also called as average filters or low pass filters so, so these are the other names for the our smoothing filters they are average filters and low pass filters the process of filtering will replace each pixel it is based on pixel operation as i have told you smoothing in filter mask with the average value which results in an image with reduced sharpness also at the edges okay this is the averaging see smoothing means one more word for this you could be calling it as averaging filters okay so some of the important filters which are used are box filter where all coefficients of filters are the same the next is weighted average filter that is center pixel given the more importance than other where in this smoothing filter we are going to focus only on the center pixels of any of the image provided okay that is the any of the uh, in any of the filters the center pixel would be getting replaced by the operations which are taking place okay the center pixel is very important here so under smoothing we have order statistics filter okay where the all these filters are specially performed to, uh, to in uh, exchange the intensity levels based on some of the operations only for the center pixels okay so let us see what are this order statistics filter now so they are non linear spatial filters whose response is based on ordering or ranking the pixels contained in the image area encompassed by the filter and the and then replacing the value of center pixel as i have told you by value obtained from the ranking result okay so the best example is the median filtering so here in this case median filters are best suitable for certain types of random noise reduction okay uh, if you want to remove any unwanted noise from any image this is the best filter that is median filter with less blurring and compared to linear spatial filters median filters are effective in presence of salt and pepper noise that is the impulse noise so you see here they have given one simple example for median filters that is just you consider one three cross three image that is one three cross three matrix you consider with three rows and three columns in this three cross three matrix they have considered these nine values that is 10 20 20 that is here it is 10 20 20 20 so here it is 20 15 20 that is 20 15 20 20 then 20 25 100 20 25 100 20, like that if you consider this matrix after ranking ranking means in median filter you should be arranging first in the ascending order that is the increasing order of pixels so after arranging you would be getting ranking that first lowest value is written first then comes 15 then 20 is repeated five times then 25 then 100 now the median value in this is the middle value middle value is 20 right so in this actual sequence the middle value was 15 now that would be getting replaced by 20 after ranking now the median value is 20 so with this way the center pixel is getting uh, uh, updated with the median value that is 20 okay like this the median filters work similar to median filters we have max filters and min filters in this the same thing if you consider a sequence okay arranging 
arranging it in the ascending order now the maximum value in this the maximum value would be replaced by the center pixel that is in this the maximum value is 100 okay so now the 100 would be replaced by the center pixel and for min min filters the it does the opposite that is it replaces the minimum value okay then we have these are some of the filters under order statistics we have some more filters such as uh, midpoint filter then uh, Wiener filters and all the, those and all would be coming in the upcoming modules. So now let us see with the sharpening spatial filters. Okay. So objective or to highlight the sharp details in an image or enhance the details that are blur that is opposite of blurring. Okay. Opposite of smoothing is sharpening. Okay. If you want to enhance the details in a proper manner. So we use these sharpening filters. Blurring can be done through various averaging analogous to integration sharpening through spatial differentiation sharpening filters are based on first and second order derivative okay they are mainly based on the first and second order derivative sharpening filters first we focus on one dimensional derivatives the derivative of the digital functions are defined in terms of differences so any definition under first derivative should follow zero at zero in the flag segments that is area of constant gray values non-zero at the onset gray level or step or ramp and also it must be non-zero along the ramps okay so uh, with these uh, things uh, considering in mind these factors let us see this uh, plot now here we have a graph related to in intensity levels various intensity levels okay so here you see here these points indicate the intensity levels that is you see here at this point the uh, we have the intensity level as six okay so in this box they have written it as six first then again it is six 6 6 up till here it is 6 then again we have we could see the drastic fall in the intensity level that is from 5 4 3 2 up to 1 okay so this is the intensity transition point where from this point the intensity value is getting changed so this line is the constant intensity and the changing value with respect to the coefficient same coefficient that is you see here it is drastically changing to one position right so that's why this would be calling it as a ramp okay then after here again the constant constant intensity that is 1 1 1 1 1 up till here then we have the sudden change up again to 6 and the constant okay so here you see here first is 6 then uh, like this the intensity values are written here with respect to x now the first derivative and second derivative okay so this is first and this is second derivative so first derivative deals with the subtraction as, as they have told you so first is 6 and 6 so the difference between 6 and 6 is 0 right so here they have written first as 0 then again 6 minus 6 is 0 then now 6 minus 6 is again 0 now 6 mi 5 minus 6 okay you should be doing the reverse of that 6 minus 6 minus 6 is 0 then 6 minus 6 is 0 6 minus 6 is 0 now 5 minus 6 that is equal to minus 1 4 minus 5 is minus 1 so from 5 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 2 like that, it is getting decreased. So it is decreased by the factor of minus 1, right, up till here. So now here you see here, 1 minus 1, it is 0. Since it is constant up till here, so that's why it is again 0 here. Now again, 6 minus 1 is plus 5, 6 minus 6 is 0 and it is 0 here. Okay, so this is the, in this way, the subtraction is done in each intensity level for the first derivative. Now for the second derivative, now we should be checking for the with respect to the first derivative you should be doing for the second derivative now you see here it is 0 0 now it is minus 1 because it is changing from 0 to minus 1 now again it is constant that is minus 1 so write all zeros now again from minus 1 to 0 okay if we add minus plus 1 it would be equal to 0 right so again again it is 0 right 0 now 0 plus 5 is 5 now again it, it turns to 0 so 5 minus 5 would be 0 and 0 goes on okay so in this way the subtraction would be taking place in each pixels first it would be taking with the intensity levels for first derivative second derivative is done with respect to the first derivative whatever values we got we have got okay so now this is the new intensity graphs with respect to the first derivative and second derivative values which you have got here okay so these are the first derivative values 0 0 where the dot, dotted marks are for first derivative and the square boxes are for second derivative. You see here with respect to whatever values they have given, they have marked the following plot. Okay. So this is for the 
first with respect to first derivative and second derivative the sharpening is done so this you should be noting down now let us see with one more important second derivative for image sharpening that is the laplacian filter okay so now let us see this now laplacian filter how this uh, laplacian filter works so this is the laplacian filter the definition of laplacian filter is given in terms of del square f okay this is the second order laplacian filter del square f is equal to dou square f by dou x square plus dou square f by dou y square so now in x direction dou square f by dou x square is equal to f of x plus 1 comma y plus f of x plus 1 x minus 1 comma y minus 2 times f of x comma y okay this is the general term for dou square f by dou x square in x direction similarly in y direction we have f comma f of x comma y plus 1 f of x comma y minus 1 minus 2 times f of x comma y okay so now dou square f means addition of these two right so all these terms will be getting added here 2 minus 2 is minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 so this is our final del square f term okay if we consider this here this we have already told with, with respect to the relationship of pixel in our module 1 only with respect to this we have uh, derived this del square f okay so the window coefficients would be looking like this here for a uh, without diagonals and with diagonals so without diagonals the center pixel value is minus 4 here since we have minus 4 times f of x comma y that is the window coefficient okay in this case it is minus 4 in place of x, f of x comma y the window coefficient you write it as minus 4 then we have f of x comma y minus 1 that is this position f of x comma y minus 1 this is 1 x minus 1 comma y 1 so what and all terms are mentioned its coefficients are 1 so write it okay so this is with, with, without diagonals now with the diagonals you should be again derivating with respect to the second order that if you do it you would be getting for eight terms here okay for that with diagonals all these terms are equal to one and the center pixel value would be minus eight okay so this is the laplacian filter under image sharpening so that's all for this video guys we had discussed with image smoothing and image sharpening in this video with respect to different filters i hope it is clear so this ends this module so we have left with two modules now module four and five uh, where some of the concepts are pending that i'm going to do it in the coming videos so stay tuned watch the videos guys support us thank you